told me a real human kid lives right behind this door. I bet that's you. Yeah, yeah, I do. But I don't know your name. So could you type it in for me, please? What's this? A pillow! <laughs> A human pillow would be perfect for the monster pillow bounce at our annual monster sleepover. Uh-oh. I'll bet this is your pillow, huh? Oh, dear. Say, you, um, you don't bite monsters, do you? No? Oh, <laughs> wow, what a relief. You know, for a human, you're not scary a bit. Not at all. In fact, you look kind of nice. <laughs> of course, you know, I really only wanted to borrow your pillow in the first place. It's for our sleepover party. Yeah, and you're invited. It's the most fun party ever. Besides, there's still a bunch of stuff my buddies and I need to do to get ready. And we could sure use your help. So come on! <laughs> a genuine human pillow for our party. Hugly, it's against the rules to take things from the human world. Well, maybe it would be, except the human owner of the pillow is right here. See? Oh. Ooh. These are my friends, Booter and Grubble. <laughs> Hi. Maybe your friend can help us get ready for the party. Sensational idea. First, we need a list. Uncle Zuba definitely needs help in the kitchen, and we need to make a poster. Happy dust balls! I love that part. Let's not forget stories. We need to make up stories. Oh, and dum da -da dum the pillows. Someone needs to find five pillows for the monster pillow bounce. I've got one. Excellent. Now we're only missing four of them. Hugly, you can be the official pillow collector. Here's a sack for collecting stuff. Thanks, Booter. Well then, let's hop to it. Oh, and I want to show you something really neato about how this map works. Some monsters have to go in the front door, but us... We can go in any old way we want to. So, where do you want to go first, huh? Uh-oh. I can't get over there, because there's a whole huge bunch of bugs in the way. And I sure don't want to step on them. No, sir. That wouldn't be nice. I can't get over there until those bugs move out of the way. Maybe we could ask them to move. Hello, Betty Bug here. I hope you can help us. We're practicing for our bug parade and my bug pals are all mixed up. Nobody can figure out where they're supposed to be. Give me a hand and sort them out for me, okay? Put all the yellow bugs in this column. This is the place for all of the orange bugs. All the red bugs go here. Oh yes, when you're all done, click on the party hat.
Bravo! Everybody's in exactly the right places. Thank you. Yowza! You debugged the pathway! Whatever would I do without you? A feather! Okay, let's try it! I, Hugly the Flying Acrobat, am going to attempt to use this feather to get that pillow. Here goes! Nothing. Oh well, guess it's not heavy enough. But it was worth a try. Maybe, somehow, you could help me get way up into that tree so I can grab that pillow. Wish me luck! Yeah! Ugh. That was great! It's another pillow for the pillow bounce! Yeah! It's my old raggedy Rufus! I've had him ever since I was a baby. Ooh. Ugh, hugging him's the best. Mm. 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 <laughs> Yahoo! Whee! Yowza! That was tons of fun! Zuba hasn't started baking for the party. I guess he isn't in the mood to cook. Maybe we can help him get in the mood. Frustrated? Hmm, I need some help. Oh, I feel silly. <laughs> oh, silly, silly me. If Uncle Zuba keeps this up, we'll never get a pie made. See if you can catch ten things for our pie. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gee whizzo, you got all ten. And it's a good thing you did, because that's exactly how many we need. Great work, my friend! Thank you, and thank you. I can't wait to cook this silliest of silly pies. Oh, me, oh, my, you help me make a silly pie. One pie down, and two more to go. Now, once again, my kitchen helper, I must be in the mood to cook. What mood shall it be this time? Ooh, I'm mad. Ooh. 
I am so mad I could boil water without a pot. I need to go outside to pick prickleberries for my pie and look, look! It's raining. Maybe we can help you, Uncle Zuba. We could get some outdoor clothes for you to wear so you could go outside. Okay. Outdoor clothes could be good. Great! Now, what three things could Uncle Zuba use to go out in the rain? When you've put them on him, click on the party hat. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, so witty, but hey, let's get to the nitty gritty. I'm all in a twitty, cause I'm not dressed to pick berries today. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, so witty, but hey, let's get to the nitty gritty. I'm all in a twitty, cause I'm not dressed to pick berries today. I think something's going to have to come off Uncle Zuba before you can put that on him. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's it! It's totally, completely perfect, Uncle Zuba! Hey, good work, my friend! Uncle Zuba can go outside now! Now I can go out into the pouring rain and happily pick those berries! <coughs> now I can cook my masterpiece! Ah, this is an excellent pie. Magnificent, mouth-watering, a masterpiece. Now there's only one pie left to cook for the party. Oh dear, again I can't decide which mood I should be in. You know, you did such a wonderful job picking a mood the last time. Why don't you pick another one, okay? I'm frustrated. That's <laughs> my glasses. They're broken. I can't see anything without my glasses. How frustrating. How will I ever cook a pie? Oh. He's pretty frustrated, all right. Uncle Suba, maybe you could ask us for help. We could help you, and then you won't be frustrated anymore. What do you say? What do I say? Help! Okay, okay, okay. Here's what you can do. I need you to help me get all the ingredients for the pie. We can do that. We'll find them and put them in Uncle Zuba's bowl. First of all, I need one pile of gummy worms, which are behind the towel hanging on the sink. And I also need two monster cookies that are in the toaster. Gummy worm. Good job. Excellent. Monster cookies. You got it. Yes, yes. These are important ingredients for my pie. Now I need three purple eggs. You can find one in the top drawer, one in the cookie jar above the sink, and one in the cooking pot. Okay, Uncle Zuba, we can do that. <laughs> purple egg. Good job. Excellent. Purple egg. 
You got it. Yes, yes, this is an important ingredient for my pie. Purple egg. Bingo! Good, good. Thank you. Now I need two boxes of Monster Mash cereal. One's next to the stove, and one's inside the cupboard below the toaster. Coming right up, Uncle Zuba. Monster... Good job! Yeah! Monster Mash cereal! All done, Uncle Zuba. You found everything! I feel so much better. Now I can bake my pie! This is one terrific pie! Oh, what's this? My extra pair of glasses! Now baking will be so much easier! You have done it! Three pies for the party! You can come and cook with Uncle Zuba anytime. In fact, if you want to, you can cook even more pies for the party today, right now! Monsters can never have too many pies at a sleepover party. I feel so proud! <laughs> Would you look at this, Hugly? I am so proud. I have the makings of a masterpiece. Neato pie, Uncle Zuba. Just look at this pattern I've started. It brings tears of joy to my eyes. Say, maybe your human friend would like to finish my pattern. What do you say, huh? See if you can finish the pattern I've started. Fill in the empty boxes with the same shapes I used. When you're done, click on the party hat. Blue square. Blue square. Green rectangle. Green. Purple triangle. Oh, you did it! Fabulous, my friend, fabulous! Oh, do we ever have something to be proud of? This is the gem of gems! It is the pie of all pies! Magnificent! We get another fine pie! Oh, oh, I am happy, happy, happy. <laughs> I, Uncle Zuba, am in such a good and happy mood. It sure would be fun to have your help. Please pick whichever nine ingredients you want for our pie, and then put them in this bowl. When you have all nine, click on the party hat. Thanks, Uncle Zuba. This'll be fun. Yeah, it will. Okay, my friend. I'll hold the bowl, and you can find the nine ingredients. You know they could be anywhere in this kitchen. Ah, an old boot. One. Pizza. Mmm, good. Two. Marshmallows, yum! Three! 
potato chips. Four. Green slime. Mm. Five. Mud, a monster's favorite. Six. A toothbrush. Seven. Pickle. Eight. A wrench. Current. Nine. Swiss cheese. Delish. Ten. Rock candy. There's not enough room in the bowl. I guess you're going to have to take something out if you want to put something else in. Ten. A wrench. Crunchy. Nine. Rock candy. Ten. Know what? I think we have more stuff in our bowl than Uncle Zuba asked for. He just wanted nine. Ten. Yeah! Hey, that's really and truly great. We have everything for Uncle Zuba's pie. This is music to my ears, Hugly. Let me see what goodies you've collected. Oh, this makes my happy day even happier. This will be a delicious pie. What a scrumptious pie we've made. Proud. Sad. Oh, yes, I am so very sad. <laughs> oh, 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 I am so sad. I wanted to make my famous alphabet pie for our human guest, but I forgot where I put the letters I need. My human friend and I can help you, Uncle Zuba. Yeah, we can. Then you don't have to be sad anymore. Oh, thank you. In the human world, you have alphabet soup. In the monster world, we have alphabet pie. So if we want to have an alphabet pie at our party, we better find those letters somewhere in the kitchen. Which letters do you need, Uncle Zuba? My recipe calls for three letters. The first one I need is the letter C. Okie dokie, let's find that letter and put it in the bowl. Hickory dickory dowd. It's great to feel this proud. I could do so much on my own. Just see how I've grown. Hickory dickory dowd. C. Marvelous. Thank you so much. Now I need, let me see. The letter G. Okie dokie, artichokey. G. Wonderful. Now, the last letter I need for my scrumptious alphabet pie is the letter I. 
We'll get on that right away, Uncle Zuba. You did it! Wow, you're good! Here you go, Uncle Zuba. My human friend found them all. Thank you so much. Now I am crying from happiness. You have helped me to make a fine alphabet pie. What a delectably delicious pie! Oh, the pie of my dreams! Hickory dickory dock, I'm one sad monster clock, so I'll cry for a while. Maybe later I'll smile. Hickory dickory dock. This is the rumpus room. It's where we're gonna have our party. Oh, I can't get enough of this game. What level do you want to play? Easy? Medium? Or hard? First, let's catch stuff that starts with the letter R. Er. Er. Raft. Er. Rocket. Rrr, radio. Rrr, robot. Rrr, raisins. Rrr, ring. Rrr, rainbow. Rrr, rabbit. Now let's catch things that begin with the letter T. 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 Television. T. Tent. Ten. Ta turtle. Ta tambourine. Ta telephone. Ta tiger. And for our third and final round, let's catch stuff that begins with the letter B. 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 Bear. Balloon. Ba, ba.
boat. Ba bow. Ba bottle. Ba bike. Ba banana. Ba boot Do you want to play again? Stop Joyful mud cakes! We need a poster for our sleepover! Maybe my friend can help. Great. Now all I gotta do is find my stickers. Huh, I wonder where they wandered off to. Uh, um, uh Grubble? Well, I guess they don't call them stickers for nothing. Have fun! You can pick a background. Any background. There's lots, and I mean lots, of stickers for you to use. Click on the color tabs to find more of them. So cut loose and happy decorating! A Zooks, look at that! It's so painterly, so stickerly, so outstanding! <laughs> it makes the room, don't you think? Most definitely, Grubble! And now we have our poster for the party! You're welcome to muck around with my stickers anytime you want! My stickers are your stickers! Just storm alert! <laughs> You're... Grungy Glop Cakes, you're back! Here you go! Some yucky muck...
That's where the pillow bounce is gonna be. Woo! You can help me! I need to write two stories for the sleepover party. Two stories about human beings. And you being a real human and all would make the most outstanding junior associate storyteller of all time. Let's give one a whirl, okay? This is going to be a fun, fantastic story about a musical instrument. All you gotta do is choose the thing you want to have in the story and move it to the yellow paper. Click the party hat when you're done. Pick your favorite musical instrument. Violin. What color would you like the instrument to be? Blue. Where would you like to play that instrument? Bathroom. Pick something to eat. Pizza. Oh, I can't wait for you to hear this one. You had some fantastic answers. One day, I opened my front door and saw a big box with my name on it. I opened up the box and saw that it was a violin. The violin was blue. There was a note inside that said it was a special violin and that I should only play when I was hungry. I put the violin in my bathroom and waited for it to be lunchtime. By then I was really hungry. It was time to play my new blue violin. I called my whole family in to watch. I started to play the most beautiful music. And then suddenly the music turned into pizza. We ate the pizza and decided my new violin played the best music we ever tasted. Wowee! That was a good story. If you want to, you can print it out, read it again, or start a new story. Oh boy, this should be a good one. Let's make up a story about a trip to a really fun place. Where would you like to go in this story? Zoo. <coughs> Who would you like to take with you? Who would you like to take with you? Friend. Pick a way to travel in this story. Car. Pick a favorite animal. Giraffe. Pick a number. Seven. Okay, now let's hear our story about a really fun trip. One day, I decided to go to the zoo with my friend. So we got into my car. I said the magic word, Shazam. Then my car went so fast that we were at the zoo in no time at all. When we got there, we saw a bunch of giraffes playing basketball. They invited us to play with them. I made seven baskets in a row, and everyone shouted, Hooray! We played for a long time, and then it was time to go home. My friend and I got back into my car and waved goodbye. Then we said, Shazam! again and zoomed home just in time for supper. Mighty fine story. Of course you can always print it out, read it over again, or start a new one. Hugly, your human friend here was super.
superb, outstanding. We've got our two stories, and they're terrific. Of course they're terrific. I knew they would be, you know. I'm going to keep your stories right here until the party starts. Listen, anytime you want to help me out with a few more stories or hear your stories again, be my guest. I mean it. Oh, <laughs> hey, look at all those keys. A monster like me could use a set of keys like this. Are they yours, Booter? Nope, but I'm sure if you borrowed them, it would be A-OK. -okay. All right. I was just thinking I wanted to write some more human stories, and here you are again. Let's do it. This is going to be a really good one, I bet. It's a funny story about food. Pick a favorite food for the... <coughs> Didn't finish your story? That's okay. We can always do it later. Just let me know. Wow! Monster Sleepover Central! This is Monster Marie. Can I bring some friends along to the party with me? After all, there's just 73. Hold the phone, Marie. 73 friends? How can that be? Well, I guess there's always room for more monsters if they're your friends, Marie. Mm -hmm. This is the Scrub-A-Dub. It's kind of like your bathroom, except it's where monsters go to get really dirty. Monster Life! Auntie Medelia, you spit your gum at me. Sorry, Hugly. I was aiming for the trash can. <gasps> Didn't know we had company. That's okay. Besides, in our monster world, you never know when we might need to use some sticky ABC gum. You know, ABC. Already been chewed? Whoa! It's one of our missing pillows! It looks kind of stuck in there. I'll never get that pillow out. Never, never, never in a zillion years. Ah! Sorry, guess I got upset. But there has to be a way to get that pillow out. We need it for the pillow bounce. I know. Maybe we have something we can use to open up the trunk. Because kicking it sure didn't work. Good idea. I bet some of these keys will open up the locks on the trunk. Look real carefully and see if you can find the three keys to open up these three locks. Then we can get that pillow. The triangle key. You got one opened. Yowza! Just, it's a diamond-shaped key. Nope, that one didn't match. You can do it, though. I know that's a square. Good job, my friend. Just one more lock and then we'll have the pillow. It's a circle. Da, da 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 You did it! I knew you would! Yowza! Now we can get that pillow. Yowza! You did a great job opening that trunk. Now we have a striped pillow. One more pillow for our pillow bounce. This 
is baby boomer snugglery. What do you humans call it? Oh, yeah, the bedroom. That's it. Hi, Huckley. Baby Boomer way up high. Wowee! You are! Whoa! Hey, wait a minute. You got a pillow. She's got one of the missing pillows. Mine. I don't think so, Baby Boomer. You don't even own a pillow. I think that's one of our missing ones. We need it for the pillow bounce at our sleepover party. No, mine. Okay, that's okay. Don't worry, we can get that pillow. First, we gotta figure out a way to get up to Baby Boomer. Yep, that's what we gotta do, all right. Hey, that's a good idea. We can stack these big stones and make a tower to reach Baby Boomer. P.U. Stinky Diapers Hey, hey, you did it! All right! Yummy Snuggly Pillow Surprise! Huggle is way up high like me. I really and truly do need that pillow for our party, Baby Boomer. Honest. No, Baby Boomer like hugging it. Okay, that's not a problem at all. Nope, because you know what? I think I have something you might like to hug even more. What thing, Huggly? Well, let's see. Here you go, Baby Boomer. Raggedy Rufus. That's Huggly's Raggedy Rufus. Gimme. Thanks, Huggly. You're welcome, Baby Boomer. So, now that you have my Raggedy Rufus, how'd you like to share that pillow with me? Sure. Atta monster. Now we have another pillow for our pillow bounce. You're the best! Mmm, me love Raggedy Rufus. Baby Boomer Sleepy. Night night, Raggedy Rufus. <sighs> ah. That's where the pillow bounce is going to be. <coughs> Wowee wow! What a monster of a mess! It's one of the missing pillows! Looks like you and I are going to have to figure out how to fix the hole in that pipe. ABC gum is about as super sticky as you can get. Take this, you leaky pipe! <coughs> Yippee! We did it! Give me five, partner! Okay, my friend. Now we can get that pillow. 
Slap me five! Uh-oh. I need your help getting over to that pillow. Because I'm not sure which way I should go. And I don't want to step on Uncle Zuba's special mushrooms. Can you show me the way one stone at a time? Now we have the last pillow we need for our pillow bounce. Hey, hey, my friend! We did it! It's actually time for our annual monster sleepover party. Come on! Last one there's a rotten egg. Ooh, I just love rotten eggs, don't you? We're having a party. It's party time! You really got me in the mood to cook, so I made a lot of pies. The moment I've been waiting for. It's time to read a story. One day, I opened my front door and saw a big box with my name on it. I opened up the box and saw that it was a... You really got me in the mood to cook, so I made a lot of pies. <laughs> One little, two little, three little monsters Four little, five little, six little monsters Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters Ten little monsters jumping on the bed Ten little, nine little, eight little monsters Seven little, six little, five little monsters Four little, three little, two little monsters One little monster jumping on the bed Wow! I wonder how all that stuff got in there
a pillow bounce. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here it is, my friend. The official monster pillow bounce. All you gotta do is fling a few of us monsters and we're bouncing. All right! <laughs> oh boy! Yippee! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Yes! Yippee! Fun! Ha <laughs> Whee! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Want to keep playing or do you want to stop? Okay, bye, but come back soon.